Hello everyone, I'm May, an artist and live today rigger. I will try to keep this video short today, so I'll be showing you how to set up your model in VTube Studio for the best tracking results. This video is beginner friendly and I will also have timestamps in the description in case you want to skip right to the part you're interested in. Firstly, if you don't want Steam to force open every time you open VTube Studio, you can go here and click start without steam it's just way easier and faster to boot up your program like this so i recommend you to have this file pinned or create a shortcut of it in your desktop now you probably have received a zip file from your rigger drop that zip into live 2d models file which you can access from this button in vtube studio and unzip the folder there now press on load to refresh the files and you can access your model this pop-up appears, just choose the first option as it's the basic auto setup that's perfect to begin with. Second option is for people who want to copy their settings from a different model file, but keep in mind, most likely your models have different inbuilt settings, so I would recommend this option as it will probably be liking, especially for beginners. If you're using an iPhone to track your model, head to the first tab and connect it in the USB settings. I strongly recommend to use USB as it is more stable than Wi-Fi. Keep in mind you need to have iTunes open in order to connect. If you're using a webcam, go to the camera tab and connect your camera there. In both cases, placement of your camera and room light matters a lot. Place it as close and facing to the center of your face. Below you will find the first tracking settings. If you're using a webcam, those sliders are not for you and I find that these settings only work for phone and you need to edit them in your phone, not on PC. Play around with the sliders and see what works best for you. Have you spent loads of money on your model expecting to get a decent tracking and then you load the files in VTube Studio and your model is stiff, not as expressive as the rigger showcase? Well, that might be your fault! It's really important to edit your VTube Studio settings according to your own camera and facial expressions. Even if your rigger sends you a file with preset up, you still have to do your own adjustments. Well, you don't know how? Don't worry, I will explain everything in detail. The third tab has the most important settings for your model tracking to be fluid. Those settings are the ones that will make the biggest difference. The first segment you see is for animations. You put your idle animation on the first one if your rigger has provided one and on the second one you put the animation that plays when your model loses tracking for me it's sleeping animation now keep in mind for the animation that plays when your model loses tracking you need to go to tracking settings model when tracking lost and click go back to default if you want your model's position to change when you move left or right up or down or zoom in and zoom out when you move you can enable this, but most people have this disabled as the movement is a bit awkward at times. Physics strength will minimize or maximize your physics. I like to keep mine at 54. I think it's a good balance. Wind strength will enable physics as if you had a fan in front of your model. Dragging physics enable the physics every time you manually drag your model in the program. This segment has what we call parameters of your tracking. It might be a little bit overwhelming because there are a lot, but don't worry, once you understand the very basics, you can apply this to each one. For example, we have the face left and right rotation parameter. This ever-changing number is what your camera is sending to VTube Studio. Rotating your face to the left is the bottom number. Rotating your face to the right is the top number. Now look straight ahead. You see this number. When rotating your face to the left, you reach that number. I don't want to break my neck and have to turn my face so much to the left to reach the limit, so I'll set the number lower. Basically, by lowering this number, I am making the sensitivity of the tracking higher. And now when I move to the left, I reach the maximum potential we set faster. Those are the only numbers that you should edit. The numbers on the right are just not meant for you. The slider here smooths out the movement. If I set to Zero, the movement is sharp and fast. If I set it to 10, movement feels almost a little bit delayed. In certain parameters, I like to keep this off. It's just personal preference. Those numbers, you can also reverse them. Sometimes it can create a nice flow to have certain movement reversed. All those things that I explained now is what you need to apply to every parameter. It's the same rule.
And just a reminder, don't be afraid to push down those numbers, especially for the eyes and mouth tracking. If you're a person that speaks in low tone and doesn't open their mouth as much, I definitely recommend this. If your model has extra tracking capabilities like tongue or mouth X, you can add a new parameter tab and select according inputs. Some of these options are only available for certain devices. The last step is for the expressions of the model. You can select the hotkey action if you want to just add a model expression. You click here and select the expression file you want to set. And then set the shortcut key to enable it. If you scroll a little bit down, you can even set how fast the expression enables or after how long the expression will be disabled. For some expressions, I like setting this to 0.1 so it's seamless. In the expression editor, you can edit or create new expressions. And remember, you have to request those extra things from your model artist and rigger. Extra expressions are not included in the base file, usually. If you click on an existing expression file, you can edit it. This is useful for people who perhaps may want to combine already existing expressions or add something extra. Lastly, in this tab you can enable plugins you have, such as vBridger tracking or plugins that work with tweets like VTS Pog. All of these are extra and you usually have to commission your rigger to add such capabilities in your model. I will leave a link in the description below with a list of all the VTube Studio plugins available. VTube Studio offers a lot of extra things that you can add to your model and do in the program. You can even recolor parts of your model and set it as a toggle. But I figured a lot of those options may confuse people who are unfamiliar with the program, so I tried to keep this guide short and simple. If you do want a more complex guide on all the extra things, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a part 2. Thank you everyone for watching and if you have any questions, I'll try to actively reply in the comments. Thank you, bye bye.